China-EU relationship has its own value. It is not targeted at any other third party, nor is it dependent on or controlled by any third party. But to be honest, I don't think the role of China should be overestimated because the military action is a decision made by a sovereign state. It, it was an independent decision from Russia and uh, it just couldn't work like that. We approached Russians saying that you've got to stop this war and the Russian uh, will stop that war. Uh, it doesn't work like that. And the key of this issue is not in the hands of uh, China. It's in Washington, it's in Brussels, uh, it could also be in Moscow. Actually, we are not doing anything deliberately to circum circumvent the sanctions imposed on Russia by uh, Americans and uh, Europeans. Um, you know our position on the issue of sanctions. We oppose sanctions. And the effects of these sanctions also risks spilling to the rest of the world, leading to wars of currency, wars of trade and world of finance, and also risks jeopardizing uh, the supply chain and the industrial chain and the globalization and even the economic order uh, established since the Second World War. China is not a related party on the, the crisis of Ukraine, and we don't think our normal trade with any other country should be affected. The two sides agreed to hold five high-level dialogues after the summit, namely the high-level strategic dialogue, economic and trade dialogue, environment and climate dialogue, digital dialogue, as well as people-to-people -people dialogue, to implement the results and conclusions of this summit. The summit once again shows that dialogue and cooperation remains the dominant feature of China-EU relations and the benefit is the keynote of bilateral cooperation.